Not onto the rocket section. You, I was you're so again. silly. I'm so not sober anymore. Uh, so for the first couple dudes, you can run up behind them and melee them, and not one of them will know. It's like grunts in Halo. <laughs> Always got to reference Halo for those PlayStation exclusive games. Yep. Except uh, these guys aren't nearly as silly as the grunts. Uh, yeah, they don't say funny things nope. and have high voices. So this is another sniper section. Uh, kind of tough, actually, this part. Wow, they shoot right through walls? I think that's just bad luck. Oh. For the most part, they don't. There is quite a few more uh, infantry chimera running around. And um, the reason I'm, I was saving my auger ammo before was for this. Okay. Because this part's quite a bit harder. And, uh, yeah, there's quite a few more dudes. And there's also that dude, uh, mm. the, the ship, chilling out above. So those laser things are invisible dudes? Still? I don't necessarily think they're invisible, but they are the snipers. The lasers are the snipers. They're not always invisible. Later, oh. I, I think on this level, all the snipers are invisible. Later on in the game, they're not necessarily invisible. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So it looks like after the first shot, they're visible. Um, if you hit them... But don't kill them. Yeah. They become visible for a second. So you can finish them. Yeah. If you don't finish them off and hit them in the backpack or... You know, actually, like, if you can get good at it, hitting them in the backpack might be a better way to do it. Because sometimes the backpack... Or the backpack explodes. And sometimes it takes out the dude that he's standing next to. Which can be a really effective way in uh, wiping out a whole bunch of dudes. That was cool for some reason. <laughs> what gun is this? This is the auger. Oh, it was just yeah, weird seeing people. you use it like uh, toe to toe and oh. not like, you know, like yeah. you crouch behind a wall I, or something. I, I felt like there I didn't have enough time to switch <laughs> and play strategically, so I just uh, busted it out. So when you get too close to this fence right here, it's going to explode. There's going to be a whole bunch of the little electric robots that are going to pop through. And uh, really try to fuck you up. There's only a couple of the infantry, though. They're not too hard to kill. Um, yeah. Wow, is this, this is the second half? Of, yeah, the last part of this level is where you get the rocket launcher. Oh, I forgot about that guy. So these guys, the auger absolutely destroys. The big guys? Yeah, I, I feel like we've run into them before on this game, too, though. Yes. Okay. So I've talked about how uh, <laughs> the AI is kind of screwy on them. Wow, that was a blood fountain. Yeah. The, this game's actually kind of gory, but because you're so low on health, uh -huh. you never really get to see it close up. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, so the the AI is kind of weird on those guys, it, and it works great the in big your guys? The big guys with the arc charger, mm -hmm. um, they... Like, if you bust out the auger and pop a shield mm -hmm. and just hold your position, they're not smart enough to, like, run through it. To stay in, behind in, it? Unless you take way too long to kill them, because mm -hmm. they don't need to get toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. I think they stay at the maximum range that they need to to do damage to you with their weapon. Mm. So they don't, like, run punch up to you. you. They don't try to punch you they in the face. They don't try to punch you, exactly. So if you bust out the auger shield... Mm -hmm. and just, like, chill right next to them, then psh, you're fine. I'm waiting for rockets. Uh, coming up. And, and hobos. Here it is. Jimmy Crack Corn and hobos. I Don't Care. Oh, did you ever read? There's, like, a series of books for kids about, like, a family that lived on a train. Or, like, in the boxcar kids. Did you know, you that, that rings a bell. That really? rings a significant bell. Mm -hmm. However, I can't put it. I don't remember a single thing about like, it either. That sounds so familiar. That I definitely <laughs> have heard of or read the box boxcar box children. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> sounds either. horrible now. So the uh, this rocket launcher, it locks on if you... Block if you hold the cursor on them for a few Is there seconds. like a, an amount of time you have to be locked on before it'll yeah. follow? Yeah, just a second or two. It's uh, like you can hear it and it, it, you know, it's classic 
Top Gun style where you have to get a solid tone mm -hmm. for it to be locked on. Mm -hmm. um, when the ship goes to the far end of the bridge, like right where I'm kind of looking right now, I think I'm kind of waiting for it now. Yep, he's going to drop off three or four infantry chimera. So be sure to kill those guys quickly because they will run right up to you and like shoot you right in the back while you're trying to take out the dropship that's flying around. And the dropship does a ton of damage too, so it's not like you can forget about that either. But the the real chimera, the one you gotta focus on. Um, so when you run out of ammo down below, there's probably four or five more rockets up above, including a health pack. So that's super helpful. Um, the secondary on this, it's not great. I've you never can control the rocket from a no. remote camera. The secondary fire shoots off like seven mini rockets. Okay. And I'm not entirely sure how it works, but when you when you've upgraded this thing all the way, it's uh, the mini rockets auto lock on to other stuff. So it's actually it can be effective when it's completely upgraded, but for your first run, it's not super great. Um, and for this boss battle, because the dudes fly so far away, it's not...